Hello, my beautiful diamond. Sheila True Love here with you. Yeah, my eyes, you know, I got the glaucoma thing going on. So sometimes the light, I have my my light up here because I need it. You know, it helps, but it bothers my eyes somewhat. Today, I want to talk about something that I was thinking about, you know, just last night when it comes to, you know, what happiness is all about. And, you know, before you can have joy, you have to have peace first. And that's just a fact. Now you have a lot of people who feel that money is the key and the secret to happiness, which I disagree with that f very strongly because, you know, there's been times when I've made six figures and I've had the money thing where I can just go shopping and I don't have to look at the prices. I just see what I want. I pick it up. I don't care what, what, how much it costs. I don't even bother looking at the price, you know, and I've been in that position. And then I also think about, you know, you have a lot of millionaires and billionaires who have committed suicide or Harry Carey. So this is just the fact that money does not buy happiness. And what I've come to realize is what life is all about in terms of happiness is fulfillment. You know, you have to find things that you're passionate about and what brings you fulfillment. At the same time, before you can have joy, you have to have peace. Keep in mind, joy is one of the fruitages of the spirit. You know, there's nine fruitages of the spirit and joy is one of them. And that's how you can tell whether the Holy Spirit is really within you and working very strongly within you. Now, before you can truly experience joy, you first need to have this peace in your life. Now, and I know that sounds simple, right? But let's just dive into it for a moment. Imagine waking up every morning with a calm mind and a happy heart. That's what peace brings. That's why I'm so happy to be single. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You know, it sets the stage for joy to come bursting into your, into your life like, a, like confetti at a party when you can wake up in the morning and you have a calm mind and a happy heart. Now, when you're at peace, you can fully appreciate all the little things that make life so wonderful. Like the first sip of coffee. You know how I do my daily devotionals, my motivation for the day and my power thoughts. And I have my coffee with you each morning and I make, I have that first sip. Woo! And I can make a mean, good cup of coffee. When you have that first sip of your coffee or the sound of laughter, when you look at something positive in the morning, Peace isn't just about quiet moments. It's about letting go of negativity and embracing positivity. It's about finding harmony within yourself so you can open up to all the amazing experiences that life has to offer. Let's just think about that for a moment. When you're stressed out, when you have anxiety or when you're anxious, joy feels like it's just out of your reach. But when you create that inner calm, and suddenly everything feels brighter and more vibrant when you have that peace. You start noticing the beauty around you, the colors, the sounds, the love. And that's when joy, it just swoops in and it dances with your heart and it feels so good. So if you're looking for more joy in your life, you have to start by cultivating peace. Take a moment each day to breathe deeply Oh, oh, yes. And reflect and appreciate what you have right now. Because it's hard to feel depressed when you are focusing on the things that you have appreciation for or for gratitude. Trust me, once you find that peace, joy will definitely follow. It'll follow you like your biggest fan. So you need to make it your goal to fill your life with both peace and joy. But remember, before you can receive that joy, darling, you have to first make sure you have a peaceful, your home is supposed to be your, your sanctuary, your place of peace. You don't want to come home arguing, bickering, fussing, fighting, wondering, is he cheating? Is she cheating? Who's doing what? You've gotten involved with someone. Now you got to worry about whether you have STDs or whatever the hell. You're constantly bickering and arguing. Somebody who's abusing you, if it's not mentally, it's emotionally or, or, or financially or physically, that takes away from your peace. And without that peace, baby, joy 
Good luck with that. You have a lot of people who have moments and spurts of happiness, but happiness doesn't last. Joy is something that's internal and it's something that lasts so much longer than little spurts and pieces of happiness and a little laughter here and there. Mm -mm. Keep in mind, you have to create an environment around you that's going to bring you peace. You know, stress is nothing to laugh at. Stress is something very serious because stress causes heart attacks. It causes strokes. It leads to death. And when you have someone who's constantly stressing you and you're constantly worrying and you have anxiety and this anxiety comes from a lot of people who suffer from anxiety because I know several people who have had anxiety attacks and this is like having this big old cloud, this worry cloud inside your mind. You know, there's a lot of things that cause people to be anxious or to feel, um, this anxiety. I don't suffer from that. Not really, you know, because my faith is strong because I pray for that constantly, but you have people who they have a fear of something bad happening or they're worrying about what other people think. I'm not a people pleaser. Thank you, Jesus. You know, you're supposed to outgrow that anyway as you mature. Anyway, also there's big changes that you might be moving or moving to a different location, a different school, or maybe you have had some past experiences like trauma or bullying, or you have maybe a family history because sometimes anxiety, it runs in families, or maybe there's a a brain chemistry a imbalance that can affect your mood. You know, but when you depend on Jesus Christ and you put your trust and your faith in Jehovah and Jesus Christ like you should, you'll come to see that you don't have those same worries that are people who are not on Jesus Christ team. It's different for you. Now to build this faith, I'm not going to say it's easy and it's like it's just an easy walk in the park because it's not. I had to pray fervently, tears and all. But finally, I got that faith and it feels so good. It feels so good to know that you have someone who's going to always have your back, someone who's always going to love you, protect you, provide for you, educate you and guide you always. Like Jesus Christ said at Isaiah chapter 54, verse five, Jesus Christ said, I am your real husband. And anyone who belongs to Christ genuinely belongs to Christ he got you. He got your back, baby. So if you're hoping for this joy, which is this inner thing, and it's beautiful, that's not going to come from money or material things. Because as we know, Whitney Houston, Elvis Presley, Prince, Michael Jackson, they got yachts. They got a, a, a house in Malibu, one place in Dubai, over there in California, hanging out in New York. And what good did all of that do them? They were strung out on drugs, abusing alcohol, misery. So money is not the, the, the answer when it comes to happiness, peace, and joy. Absolutely not. It's all about fulfillment. It's all about building your faith and your trust and dependency on your Lord. And guess what else he is? your savior in every sense of the word. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle.